Hello and welcome to Nit Hrania Game Club. My name is Branislav Berec and you're watching Game in a Nutshell, the series of videos designed for explaining the board game's rules. Today, we're going to learn how to play Mariposas, a game designed by Elizabeth Hargrave, who also designed Wingspan. The game is published by AEG and here is how it plays. To set the game up, place the game board in the middle of the table. Place this way station table next to the game board. Prepare these tokens as a general supply and you can use the boxes which come with the game. Place one random spring goal card face down in this area, one random summer goal card and one random fall goal card. You can put the remaining goal cards back into the box. Then shuffle these way station tokens and randomly place one of these tokens in each of the cities. So this is how the map should look like. These are life cycle way station cards. They correspond with these spaces on the way station board and there are always five cards for each space. So distribute all the cards on their matching spaces and then randomly select three of these six life cycle tokens and place one of these tokens to the right of each life cycle set. Give each player the set of butterfly tokens and the score marker of the same color. Sort the butterfly generations from 1 through 4. Or players put their generation 1 butterfly marker on this large Michoacan space at the bottom of the map. All score markers are placed on the starting space of the scoring track. In addition, all players place one of their generation 2 butterflies on the summer goal card and two generation 3 butterflies on the fall goal card. You can turn the spring goal card face up. Shuffle these action cards, create the face down draw deck and deal each player a hand of two action cards. Keep those action cards secret from other players, but you can obviously look at your own cards. Then place these bonus move cards next to the way station board. They don't have to be shuffled, you just have to separate them into three piles by their type. Randomly choose the starting player and we can move on to the gameplay. The game is played over three seasons, spring, summer and fall. And in each season, players take turns, starting with the first player and then continuing in a clockwise direction. In spring, players will take four turns, in summer, they will take five turns and six turns in fall. On your turn, you will perform three steps. First, you will play one card from your hand and move your butterfly or butterflies indicated number of spaces based on the card you played. You will take a flower token from each space where you land. You will keep these flower tokens in your personal reserve. Then, in the second step, if you land on a space adjacent to this milkweed symbol, you can hatch a new butterfly if you spend the corresponding number of flower tokens. And in the third step, you always refill your hand back up to two cards. At the start of your turn, you have to play one action card from your hand. Each card shows one or more butterflies moving and landing on a space. This symbol indicates that you can take any one of your butterflies and move it one space. When you finish your move and you land on a space, take the flower token which corresponds to the space you landed on. Keep the flower tokens in your personal reserve. With the next action, you can again take any of your butterflies and move it one space. That means you can move the same butterfly or any other of your butterflies on the map. Don't forget to take the corresponding flower token. So with this action card, you can take any of your butterflies and move it one space, and then take any of your butterflies and move it three spaces. With this action card, you can move any of your butterflies four spaces, and then take a flower token from the space you land on and from another space adjacent to the space where you landed. So you will move four spaces with your butterfly, then take the flower token from the space you landed on, and then you can take one additional flower token from any of these adjacent spaces. With this action card, 
you can reuse an action card you have already played. That's why it's important to keep all your action cards in front of you visible to all players. Because they may play a card which allows them to reuse an action card someone else has already played this season. The same space can be occupied by any number of butterflies. A butterfly can never collect a flower token from the space it started the turn on. In addition, you may not collect the flower token from the same space more than once per turn. So with this action card, which allows you to make three single moves on your turn, you may, for example, take this butterfly, move it to this space and take the flower token from there, then move it over here and collect the second flower token. However, you would not be allowed to move back to this space because you have already collected a flower token from there. And you may not even move this butterfly over here for the same reason because you have already collected a flower token from that space. But the second butterfly can actually move to this space because this second butterfly started its move from this hex and therefore it is allowed to take a flower token from here. When you land on this waystation space and the waystation token is still face down, as a bonus, roll this die and take one token of the flower you roll. If you would roll this symbol, you can take a flower token of your choice. Then flip the waystation token face up. Now any butterfly that lands on that space will take the item shown on the token. Each waystation item you collect during the game is worth one victory point, which is also reminded here at the bottom of the waystation board. Keep the waystation cards in front of you, because you may never have more than one card of each type. When you collect all four cards from one set, you immediately get the benefit shown to the right of that set on the waystation board. You can find the explanation of all those benefits in the rulebook. There are three special waystation tokens that give you a bonus move card. Each tile grants you one bonus move card of the corresponding type. These cards are added to your hand as an extra card and they don't come towards this two action cards limit. Whenever you play one of those cards, keep it in front of you and never discard those cards because you can have only one card of each type in the entire game. So once you play one of those cards, you may not collect the same type of card for the remainder of the game. This bonus move card is played instead of one of your action cards, and it gives you one movement of two spaces and one movement of three spaces. You can perform them in any order. This bonus move card has to be played together with one of your action cards. It adds a separate single space move to this action card. So in this example, the overall action would have one move of three spaces, one move of one space, and one move of one space. Again, you can play them in any order you want. Similarly, this bonus move card has to be played together with one of your action cards from your hand, but this time the bonus move only adds two additional movement spaces to one of the actions on the action card. So in this example, you can either add those two movement spaces to this action and you may move one of your butterflies five spaces and then take the flower token, or you can add those two movement spaces to this action. By the way, these cards, which allow you to reuse an action card you have already played or someone else has already played, don't allow you to copy these bonus move cards. When you land on a space which is adjacent to this milkweed symbol, after you take the flower token from that space, you can hatch a new butterfly from the next generation. To do that, you will have to spend some flower tokens. The new butterfly is placed in the same space. Now, both butterflies, although having the same starting space, will move as two separate butterflies. Generation 1 butterflies always hatch generation 2 butterflies and it costs either two same flower tokens or any three tokens. Generation 2 butterfly always hatches generation 3 butterfly and the cost is either three same flower tokens or any four flower tokens. Generation 3 butterfly 
patch is generation 4 butterfly and the cost is 4 flower tokens of the same type or any 5 flower tokens. And finally, generation 4 butterfly can hatch 2 generation 4 butterflies, so flip the marker to the other side. And again, the cost is 4 tokens of the same type or any 5 flower tokens. This double butterfly counts as 2 butterflies towards any goals in the game, however, it moves as 1 marker. When hatching a butterfly, always take the butterfly of the next generation from the season card first before you take the butterfly from your reserve. If you don't have any butterfly from the next generation, you may not reproduce with your active butterfly. If you remove the last butterfly from the season card, reveal that season card face up. If you use the action card with multiple actions, like in this case three single moves, and you have enough flower tokens available, you may hatch a new butterfly each time you land on a space adjacent to this milkweed symbol. So in this example, at the end of first move, you can hatch a generation 2 butterfly from the generation 1 butterfly. At the end of the second move, you can hatch a generation 3 butterfly. And let's say at the end of the third move, I could hatch another generation 2 butterfly. At the end of the first season, that means when all players have taken 4 turns, which means they should have 4 action cards in front of them, take the following steps in this particular order. First, discard all the cards played this season into the discard pile. Second, score the goals shown on this spring card. Again, I'm not going to explain every single goal in this video, you can find their description in the rulebook. Then the player with the fewest points becomes the first player for the next season. In case of a tie, it's going to be the first player clockwise from the first player from previous season. If there are any butterflies on the next season goal cards, return those butterflies back to their owner's supply. Then if you still have any generation 2 butterflies in your personal reserve, you may hatch one for free, which means you don't need any flower tokens and you don't even have to be adjacent to a milkweed symbol. After that, remove all generation 1 butterflies from the map. Then if the next season goal card hasn't been revealed yet, reveal that card. Then in the end of the summer, repeat the same procedure, but this time all generation 2 butterflies will be removed from the game. And at the end of the fall, it's actually end of the game, score the goals shown on that fall card and score all the generation 4 butterflies that made it back to the Michoacan. Don't forget that the double butterflies count as two butterflies. So in this case, white player has five butterflies in Michoacan, so they would score 21 points. Red player only has three butterflies, that's 12 points. And green player has four butterflies, that's 17 points. If you would have more than six butterflies in Michoacan, each one will only yield two additional victory points. Then for each life cycle card you have collected over the course of the game, score one additional victory point, and the player with the most points is the winner. So that's it, that's how you play Mariposas. If you have any questions or comments, please put them into the comment sections below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. If you like the series, please subscribe. My name is Branislav Berec, you've been watching Game in a Nutshell, and hope to see you next time.